Buddy, you ain't looking too good. You ever want to eat solid food again, you better start cooperating. Do you honestly think you can get me to talk? No. But I can. Hey, Jax, what the hell are you doing here? You first. You're supposed to be grounded in Shanghai. You're supposed to be in custody. Oh, I see. You were the one that arranged my misunderstanding with customs. I was trying to save your bloody life. Why, well, you kill Carly? And my daughter? Uh, Get up! Your daughter is safe, and you were supposed to be too. Tell me that this is all a bluff, a diversion, that you're really after something else. That you didn't really poison the water supply. I'm sorry, little brother. That's exactly what I've done. Everyone named poor Charles has been exposed to the pathogen. Why would you do this? <laughs> you know me, Jax. Always up for a challenge. No, that's not it. You're desperate. You have to be. Maybe explain to your brother things are going to end badly for him. Jerry only speaks one language. You poison the city. How are you going to undo it? Here's the thing. If we kill him, if he dies, we're kind of screwed. So this is why you faked your own death? So you could plan everyone else's? Oh, I can show you. I was shot and fell in the water. It's bloody freezing. I can show you. I didn't think I'd survive. Yet here you are, threatening everyone I love. Not your daughter. Have you forgotten? You I kidnapped her in the middle of the night, Jerry. To save her. Would you like her to suffer? Why like are you doing this? What, what do you want? Well, I was about to explain myself when I was rudely interrupted, and now I'm afraid that everyone's going to have to be very patient. Time for this. Maybe you feel like talking down the station on your feet. Let's Is go. this before or after the water, Wally? Water, boy. We don't do that anymore. We got all new stuff. Are you sincerely going to let them torture your brother? No, you did this to yourself, Terry. I know I'm a disappointment, but you used to look up to me. Thought I was capable of anything. Well, you certainly proved that, haven't you? Don't give me too much credit. I had a little help with this project. You and Keenan? Keenan, the shrink. I'm afraid I don't know the man. Well, maybe your memory will come back to you at the station. Hmm. No, you can't handle this. I could get Joe Scully. That means something to you, Joe Scully? No, no, it doesn't. You're lying. No, I don't have a reason to lie. They can't anything. read you, Jerry, but I can. You're lying. Tell me what this is really about. You, you want answers? Get rid of the patrol cars. I'm gonna get you answers. We got him with everything, all right? Obviously, he's hiding something. More importantly, we gotta find Keenan. Really Did he be able to do you? Be to Jason's friendly. Do you understand your rights? Have they been explained to you? Would it be too much to ask to uh, retain Alexis Davis <coughs> for her services? She's still recovering from the shot you gave her, Jerry. Get him out of here. Uh, well, ask him. Never less. Thank you. Why did you ask about you and Keenan? Do you know him? Uh, it just sounds familiar. Ah, oh, home sweet home. Jerry Jacks. Detective Falconeri. Such a pleasure to see you again. I get the impression that the feeling is not mutual. <laughs> Take me to the interrogation room. Oh, don't worry, we won't make you wait too long. Good. What happened to his face? I think he tripped. That's good. Did he tell you anything? No, not yet. Maybe I'll have some better luck. Detective. Yeah. You mind if I sit in? Not at all. Let's go. Who's this uh, Keenan guy? Why do you think he has anything to do with this? <sighs> Dr. Keenan is a psychiatrist. He's working at General Hospital right now. Originally, he's from Australia. Well, it's a pretty big country. Yeah, but just to catch you up, we, we think that Alexis was injected out at Windermere, and I went out there to check it out, and Dr. Keating shows up. So I did a background check. Turns out he moved to Port Charles after spending a lot of time in Alaska. Well, just like Jerry and me. We know there's a counter agent. You said so in your broadcast, so why don't you tell us where it is? Aren't you going to say the magic word? Mm -hmm. Please. Well, that's cute. You know what happens to cute boys in prison? Hey. Well, I'm sure we can come to a mutually beneficial agreement. What do you want, Jerry? Oh, release me and I'll tell you. Yeah. You know we can't negotiate with you. Well, then I'm afraid we're at an impasse. Elizabeth! Ah, wonderful. By all means, 
Lock me up. We can speak again in the morning. Perhaps you'll be more receptive to negotiate the counter agent. Have a good night. It might be your last.